There's a yellow vat in Texas that I am proud to see. No other nerd will have her, no other nerd but me. So prideful as I built her, it'd like to burst my heart. And once she's been completed, she'll never need more parts. She's the sweetest little rosebud that Texas ever knew. Her splines are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like the dew. You may talk about the helical or seven is flayed you see. But the stealth vod made in Texas is the only vod for me. Where the Rio Grande is flowing and starry skies are bright, she spins beside the river on a windswept summer night. I remember when I dreamt of her so many years ago. I promised I would build her, not one but ten or more. She's the sweetest little rosebud that Texas ever knew. Her splines are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like the dew. You may talk about the helical or seven blade you see, but the stealth vault made in Texas is the only vault for me. This is the stick. It's just a, a tube over a shaft. And the interesting thing on this is the bearing. This is two opposing magnets, uh, um, rare earth magnets that oppose each other, and that makes a frictionless thruster bearing. No friction at all. And while it's down, I'll show you this is my little weather station. So temperature, wind speed, humidity, stuff like that. This is to protect the solar panels in high wind. In high wind, it will trigger the solar panels to go flat. My fingers torn and bloody, but my heart is all aglow. She's lean and taut and shiny and ready to be blown. I'm going to set her straight and tall just like she was before. 
And the yellow vine of Texas shall be mine forevermore. Uh, may I ask, sir, just what it is you're doing? Casper. Leave this alone, okay? No doubt about it. Every dog should have a boy. She's the sweetest little rosebud that Texas ever knew. Her splines are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like the dew. You may talk about the helical or savannous blade you see, but the stealth thought made in Texas is the only thought for me. Wake up, my little rosebud. The sun is coming up in the east, and your panels are still facing west. Okay, I thought I might give you a closer look at my power pod, which is what I call this. Uh, it provides most of the power for my little shop. Well, all the power on some days. Um, mostly from the solar panel. We do get some power from the wind, but like today, we aren't getting much wind. Wind speeds vary from 2 3 miles per hour up to 13. Right now, it's more in the two mile per hour range. Uh, let's kind of walk around a little bit and a lot of bricks on the bottom to hold it in the upright position. And even on the windiest days that I've had, uh, wind speeds up to 60 miles per hour or so, and that hasn't been an issue. Uh, had some people tell me on previous videos I need guy wires yes I do but when it was mounted on the fence I couldn't do that because I would have had to anchor it in my neighbor's property this way I've got three guy wires on that that hold it pretty stationary um, but I'm telling you this has let me down during uh, what we call snowmageddon here in Texas where we had a full week of sub-freezing temperatures and the solar panels were completely covered with about a quarter inch of ice and I couldn't find a way to get it off without damaging the solar panels so um, while it would turn to the sun it couldn't make any power so um, that was a very disappointing period of time. We, we, were, we weren't as bad off as some people. Some people didn't have power for the entire time, or my son didn't have power for five days. Uh, I didn't have power for 27 hours. 
and uh, that's enough to learn a lesson that I can't depend on wind and solar every day of the year in Texas. Um, this thing will will turn almost completely flat in both directions I've got little uh, limiter switches right here that uh, cut it off before it does any damage I did burn up uh, one actuator before I realized I needed to do that but more than likely this will be the last one that I build and if you want to see where I'm going to focus my energies from now on, you'll have to watch the next video. So until next time, take care, stay well, bye-bye.